how to create folders and subfolders using Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create folders and subfolders based on a list on Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Take a look at this workbook. I have names in column A which I want to create folders and in column B, C and D have subfolders name. Okay. I want to create folders for the first cell of every row. Okay. So in row one, the first cell will be our folder and the rest of the cell will be our subfolders under this main folder. Okay. And when I go to the row two, the first cell will be folders again and the next one will be subfolders. Okay. For this, first I have to save this workbook, okay? I'm going to click on file and then click on save as and I will have to save the file where I want to create the folder. So I have created a folder named test folder. Here I'm going to save this workbook in .xlsm format, okay? Because I'm going to use VBA for this. So the file name will be create folders and subfolders and I'm going to save it. So I have saved this file in the location where I want to create folders, okay? So this is the location and this is the file which is saved. And here we are going to create folder and subfolders. Folder will be based on list in column A and subfolders will be based on list in column B, C, D and etc. okay? So the first cell, of each row will be folder and the rest of them will become subfolders under the main folder. For this, I'm going to write a VBA code. So click on developer tab, click on visual basic, then click insert and then click module. Now write the code. I have already written the code. If you need the code, please check the link in the description. Once I have written the code, close the VBE and save the workbook. Remember our workbook is already saved in the test folder in .xlsm format, okay? Now, if I click on macro and click on run, because we have our macro added here, create folders, and if I select it and click on run, you can't see anything here, but if I minimize it and go to the folder, you can see our folder has been created. So I have five folders which were in column A, okay? You can see these are the five names and I have created the five folders. Now, I wanted to create three subfolders under the main folder named John, okay? Let's check it. Here we have John and here we have three subfolders already created for us. Let's see what happens to James. James will have one subfolder. Let's check that. Yes, only one subfolder. Then here we have WeChain and we need one folder. You can see this is how I can create folder and subfolders using the list in Microsoft Excel. Okay. So if you are using this template frequently, you can add this button, macro button to your quick access toolbar. For that, click on this drop down, click on more commands, and here from this drop down, select macros. And here we have our macro, which is create folders. I am going to click add, and you can see our quick access toolbar list has been updated. And now I'm going to click on modify and I'm going to select this icon. Oh no, this is much better. I'm going to select this icon and click OK and click OK again. Here we have our macro added, which is create folder and we have our icon. So let's check something again and go back to our main folder and remove everything. Now let's try it again. Our folders names will be one to six and here our subfolders name will be a b a b c a b c d and i'm going to create the same thing okay so here these will be our folder and these will be subfolders okay i'm going to just click on this button here and if i go to that folder and you can see one to six and we have our subfolder so this is how you can create folders and subfolders from Excel list and using Excel VBA. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.